death of Ed Asner, who just died yesterday at the age of 91. Now being reported by lots of P1s are picking up on this. Betty White is the lone surviving actress from two shows now, the Mary Tyler Moore Show and Golden Girls. Yeah. And nobody, none of the main players are left on either show except for Betty White. She's got both. And the both. thing about the Mary Tyler Moore Show is I remember watching it on its first run. My, you know, my mom watched I guess my dad watched it too. So we kind of did. We had one TV. Mm-hmm. But I never watched it in reruns. So I don't have a lot of the shows, you know, like committed to memory like you would other shows that were in syndication. Yeah. I saw them only in reruns. Uh, I haven't. I only saw them like one time or two times, but it was a really, really strong. Yeah, show. I remember liking it. I remember thinking the act, the, the actors were very good. Amazing cast. I, yeah, I loved the characters. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. weren't abundantly rerun like the you know some other sit like the Gilligan's Islands and Brady yeah. Bunches. I mean, on TBS, maybe that's why. Well, it was more for the adults. I mean, yeah. it, it wasn't something you'd play in the afternoon like a like a nutty comedy here like, locally. Like a babysitter show, yeah. Now right. I tell you where I first saw it locally. It was a lead-in for Young and the Restless on the CBS affiliate in the seventies. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it, probably still on TV, and my mother would watch it in the afternoon at noon, right huh. before uh, Young and the Restless or twelve thirty, instead of the news. Uh, huh. They had Mary Tyler Moore show. Then it went on to uh, TV Land, like in the eighties and nineties, and I watched it. Yeah, I remember uh, it being on TV Land. Uh, Golden Girls marathon on TV Land yesterday, Woo-hoo. and you watched. Well, well, I had to. Well, you Lucky. Get, I had you to. get sucked into that, you won't come out. Well, he had that. He used to have that dead dog in his conscience. <laughs> I did, man. Nearly dead. Oh. Like we should point that out. God, that's so true. I should say, don't give your dog raisins. <laughs> Do not give a dog he raisins. He was tiptoeing towards the Rainbow Bridge, wasn't Ooh. he? <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, he turned around and came back. By the way, they're advertising MASH Mondays. Oh, that's MASH, for you. Mondays. MASH Mondays. They do it like a round-the-clock MASH on Mondays, TV Land. Starting now, when they do a marathon like that, Kelly, do mm-hmm. they just run them randomly, or are they sort of sequenced? This was sequenced, and it was a good season. It was early season Golden Girls, and so I got sucked in. I missed some of that golf tournament. You all were texting about the Bryson DeChambeau, so I flipped back over to oh, it. Oh, my gosh. Great tournament. Drama. Unreal. I only saw the, I saw the last three playoff holes. There have been like three earlier ones that were phenomenal. Yeah, Bryson lipped out his first three putts to win. I mean, yeah. lipped at them. So many chances to win. And lost. The yeah. other guy won. I think he probably trashed some of the, the BMWs that were on display <laughs> mm-hmm. on the course. Oh, at one point, he just turns it and he just yells at yeah. no one. And I'm like, that guy has an invisible friend. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's Chris Dibbs' favorite. That's my boy. That's Bryson DeChambeau. Now, nobody else likes him. Both Everybody crazy. else calls him DeSham Bag, which That's I don't right. care for. That's right. De Bag. When he makes one, Chris goes, the bag. <laughs> he celebrates it. How long would these guys have gone? Did they carry over in the day? It's dark. Darkness. Yeah, it was really getting dark. Really yeah. dark. You could tell. Ooh, I thought he was going to beat a fan for a minute, too, because <laughs> somebody yelled in the middle of his backswing, and he did that stop and turn and just dead Ooh. stare. It's like the Terminator. Not yeah. with the sham bag, you don't do Mm-mm. that. They'll take you out. Uh, and I wanted to thank Biggie. Uh, I got my son so good Sunday morning. He and I were together. We had gone to the gym. Mm. And on the way to the car, I looked at my phone, and it said, breaking news, Kanye just dropped Donda. So, and that's a big deal to my son. Biggie broke that to me. And that's a big deal to my son. I knew it would be. So we got in the car, and I said, breaking news, Kanye just dropped Donda. And my son said, no, no, I don't have my aux cord. I don't have my aux cord. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Is that, what? Is that, what is that, does that does mean? That, is that cattle? Uh, ox? That is a little cord he plugged oh, into the ox. Oh, 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 no, 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 I don't have my ox cord. I don't have my ox cord. No. <laughs> he goes, it can't be true. How would you know this? And I won't. I said, I know things. I said, I just know things. Mm. I, I knew it was in I said, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I'm going to get him with this. Because I knew he'd been with me for the oh, last yeah. hour. And I said, oh, yeah, just got, I said, uh, mm. because I'm on the radio, I know these uh, things. Now who shouldn't be in radio? Right. And he, uh, he, he, goes, he looked it up on his phone. He goes, it's true. It's true. It's out there. And he goes, I have to listen to this. So now that it's out there, mm-hmm. if you're a Kanye fan, like your son and my 15-year-old nephew who says he's the be- his favorite artist, too. Yes. How do you listen to it? Do you just download it? Do you pay? That's download. Well, if you have a streaming music service, okay, you'll get it there. You got okay. it on Apple. Yeah, okay. Okay. like I listen through. I have Amazon streaming, so I listen so, through Amazon. So if yesterday. you pay for the subscription, you just get it. Yeah. Yes. So he got it. Uh, we we I don't know. He, so we get home, and uh, he goes and gets his aux cord and heads back to the car. And I said, "What are you doing?" He goes, "I got to ride around the neighborhood and listen to Donda." <laughs> and I said, uh, well, "Can't you just listen like in your room?" He goes, "Nice try. It'd be a lot better on car speakers." I was like, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> this ha- happened. Nice try. I know. He goes, oh, nice try. This will be so much better on car speed. So we looked at the Life 360 and watched him just drive up and down the street while listening to Donda. To Donda. 
Aren't there like 24 tracks? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. It's, it's up two hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and in, this is great, too. In typical Kanye fashion, he immediately came out and he said, Universal, put this out without asking Right, me. right. He's mad. So, I'm not finished. No, I'm not finished. <laughs> so he's already added like five more tracks. He's not oh changing God. the names, though. It's I just know. like, praise the Lord, part two. Right. Jail, right. part two. My son, after two hours, comes walking back in. He's that was amazing. God, yeah. incredible. And I was just like, are you? The amount of people who are, to me, I, I've been a longtime Kanye fan from the beginning. Mm-hmm. It's a it's typical Kanye album. It's good. Yes. But the amount of people I see falling over themselves, I'm like, you don't My know son anything about this. And then the, the only thing I could add to I knew he was living in football stadiums. So I said, whose stadium is he living in right now? Bears. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How, did, how did the Thursday night Soldier Field event go? Uh, did any... Any news? Big, oh, big time controversy. Okay. He um, opened by bringing out uh, with him, he built his childhood home in the middle of the field. 50 yard line. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he walked out, and this whole deal is he's had his face covered the whole time. He walked out with uh, Marilyn Manson. Ooh. Under some uh, scrutiny now for yes. sex crime. And also another artist named a Baby. Uh, ooh, who was also ooh, uh, yeah. in trouble for a rant he did on stage. Heard about it, and uh, yes, so didn't get it, but we heard about it. <laughs> Not really for our audience, I'll be honest. Uh, I'll, I just yeah. read a headline. I just read yeah. a headline. Uh, everybody's mad at the baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, okay, I got so, that. Uh, got well, don't throw it out with the bathwater. That's right, I got it. Well, and basically the song just played, and everyone was like, "What is this?" Mm-hmm. And they think it was Kanye's take on cancel culture. And also, Marilyn Manson is credited as a songwriter on the song. Hmm. Oh, really? Yes. And this song also now had the baby on it. He took off of Jay Z mm-hmm. and put the baby on it. So I only know about half of what you're talking about. You know? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. This it reminds me of this guy. There's an uh, announcer for the uh, St. Louis Cardinals, the baseball team. He's been the Cardinals radio announcer for some time now. His name is Mike Shannon, radio guy, 82 years old. Wow. Oh, my word. This is, when I heard this today, I thought this sounds like something Chris Dim and I would say. Okay. Oh, no. He's talking about something they're. <laughs> it's like, you know how they used to give away bobbleheads at the ballpark? Sure. Okay. Now they're doing something else. Now is your chance to come digital. You can bid now on one of the on one on one Bush Stadium NFT. What's NFT mean? Mike Claiborne, what's an NFT? No friggin' touchdowns. No. <laughs> no friggin' tonsils. Here's a strikeout number five. <laughs> NFT stands for non fungible token, a digital token that's a, a type of a cypro uh, currency. Man, they have words in here I've never heard before. But unlike a standard coin in, in the uh, buy coin uh, blocking. Uh, NFT is a oh. unique and can't be exchanged like for like uh, hence uh, non fungible <laughs> online thing you can't sell. Well, I don't use it online, so that's why I don't know. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> he sounds like he's winding down. Eighty-two. It it's and Kelly, congratulations! That is now the worst cold read ever. <laughs> Can't say the word crypto. <laughs> does that beat my crypto Bitcoin? <laughs> does that beat my uh, Flatitza? Flatitza <laughs> yeah. from Subway. I think Flatitza is now a silver medal. Yeah. That's close. <laughs> <laughs> was he partnered with Jack Buck when he called for the wow. Cardinals? Wow, Lord! He partnered with Mordecai Three Finger Brown. I'm telling you. <laughs> Wow. I think, I think he learned the game from Abner Doubleday. God. Did you hear that voice? Yes. I'm sure I'm sure locals think he's, you know, yep. an icon. I thought he was passing out when you started the clip. I'll tell you, when I I said I heard he was eighty two, I heard the cause. Like he sounds older he than He sounds older yes. than eighty two. Right. He almost sounds He as, doesn't as, sound like a broadcaster. I know. Yeah, he, he kind of reminded me of that. Remember that New York street reporter mm-hmm. yeah. who tried to school the anchor back in Oh God. <laughs> yes. old studio. Yeah. Oh, old one of my favorites. I was your boss. Yeah, you were, but look at you now. Yeah. yeah. You old fart. I was out here in the field when you were. <laughs> That's right. I like those guys. But That's what it sounds there's like. nothing worse than an aging broadcaster. Stadler. Believe me. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. Those two guys are dead now. Ain't that the truth. <laughs> this is my Flatitza read. Today's forecast brought to you by Subway, introducing their new Flatitzas, where cheesy and delicious meet crispy and square. Your choice of a cheese, pepperoni, spicy Italian, or ve- or veggie, Flatitza. At t- <laughs> right there. Right there, it's where it went off the rail. 
I tripped over the word veggie. <laughs> Subway bumper, take two. <laughs> it's cold read. It was doomed from the start, though. Cold read. It was doomed from the start. Right. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Cold read. Written for you. <laughs> What if happened? anyone's gonna handle it like a pro, <laughs> let Chris Kelly read this. One. He's a pro's pro. He can do these weather adjacencies. <laughs> Real so How hard can it be to say what he's? You're saying that's now. I've been passed. I hate to say it. There. <laughs> I thought I had to Step aside. I thought it was an unbreakable record. No. Until these damn NFTs came I along. Thought, I thought I was Joe DiMaggio in here. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> no. There is one guy. He's Hank Aaron. He's I, Barry Bonds. I, I, he's Barry Bonds. He came through. I feel like the Cardinals set him up for this. I do, too. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey give him the this. NFT <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Just Don't sit back and enjoy. <laughs> Strikeout number, strike out number five. He got the strikeout in there. <laughs> sure, he's a charming guy. Oh my! He probably God. called Chicago Cardinals games. Uh, he probably did. My goodness, that's unreal. Good hey. Lord. This is the update now. Uh, the fast food chain Wendy's has announced they are going to add a big bacon cheddar cheeseburger and change their fries yet again. This is how many times now they've tried to change these French fries. They just can't keep up. They had uh, at one point they had the skin the was salt on. Fries. The sea salt was on. That's right. They got the skin on them now. I think. Do they? Yeah, they're 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 good. I, I, what are they doing? They're doing something new called hot and crispy fries, rolling out to some restaurants available nationwide in two weeks. John Lee, Wendy's vice president of culinary innovation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what if we put bacon on there? Uh, call it baconator. Yes. <laughs> How hard is it to put cheese on a burger? They're putting cheese on a burger well, now. Well, if you put two patties on there, <laughs> call it a double. You mean take a cheeseburger and add a second burger? <laughs> God, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Does he introduce himself <laughs> like that at parties? Yes. Yeah. Did that cheese on a burger? <laughs> I invented that. <laughs> I'm the culinary chef. Culinary oh. innovator. <laughs> God almighty. <laughs> I about threw M&M's into a frosty one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, tell us more. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> He's the uh, vice yeah. president of culinary innovation. Oh, you mean there's somebody there's higher somebody than him? Higher. <laughs> there's another. <laughs> He's the worker bee. Yeah, the other guy, not so much cheese on that burger. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done uh, to no the burger? No one can eat that much bacon. <laughs> <laughs> He says, I came up with the French toast sticks in the 80s. Don't <laughs> <laughs> ever let me live that down. <laughs> then they made me present. Uh. <laughs> Those French toast sticks did not do anything. But their new breakfast is doing very well. Very well. Which we just heard. Lee says, it's a new day. <laughs> <laughs> well, what else is he going to say? <laughs> we, we have been able to deliver a crispier fry. I am so excited about mm -hmm. this. In taste tests, our customers are saying, these are chosen as a crispier fry than our biggest competitor. You know who? McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, he 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 called him out by name. He said, "Let's face it." That's the that's the uh, that's the point you want to be at in fast food yeah. world. Yeah. He, this guy says, "Let's face it." People like McDonald's fries. We now, in taste tests, have a better, crispier fry than McDonald's. And that's what he's going after. I'd be interested to try that. That's bold, bold words. It is bold. What kind of science is behind these fries? <laughs> well, really? That, that, different that, oil, different temp? It's the same oil they're going to fry everything else in, though. Mm. He's called hot, they're called hot and crispy fries, and they're going to launch with a big promotional push on television in the next uh, two weeks or so. And they've announced, and again, this is from the vice president of culinary innovation, that's uh, John Lee, who says the big bacon cheddar cheeseburger. They've announced that on Thursday. Released next week, they're topping with applewood smoked base mm. bacon and a bacon sauce and crispy caramelized onions. Bacon sauce? Is that the bacon grease? <laughs> Easy. <laughs> What's a bacon Maybe. sauce? I don't know. A bacon sauce. A ranch with bacon grease. Ugh. They'll have uh, American cheese and tangy cheddar cheese as well. Mm. They're putting two different types. So now you have to choose. You have to tell your chef. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I guess that's right. How long uh, is this order going to take at the drive-thru? Oh, I know. That's true.